All right. While the last of us are getting coffee and things to drink, I'm going to get started. I'm Brad Murray. I'm the chair of the steering committee for the Community Surface Dynamics Modeling System. And therefore, my great pleasure to welcome you all here to the annual meeting and to thank you heartily for all of the effort and time that it takes to be here in person and participate in, in the annual meeting. Um, I think spending a few days together is still the best way to continue growing our community. And of course, without being here in person, the talks and the clinics and the poster sessions wouldn't be anything like the engaging, effective activities that we have come to expect and, and look forward to this time. And maybe more importantly, I think being here all together for a few days is really required for some of our core missions. Uh, getting to know each other and each other's research better certainly spurs the sharing of models and codes and best practices and data. And being together and getting to know each other and each other's research, I think, really catalyzes or can catalyze new science, uh, new collaborations and new science questions that can sometimes be addressed with novel coupling of models of very different sorts. So this work really to get those kinds of collaborations started requires mixing together a bunch of researchers who know and care about very different things and see what bubbles up. This year, I think our theme presents some especially exciting possibilities. Um, our community of Earth surface process modelers includes, of course, a lot of people who focus on relatively short term event scale processes and changes to the landscape landslides, uh, floods, coastal storms, etc. It also includes a lot of people who focus more on longer term landscape or ecosystem evolution. And with this combination of lenses, the event scale changes can be seen as the building blocks for the longer term evolution. Um, the hazards and planning community, on the other hand, which partially overlaps with our, our systems community, naturally enough, views the event scale processes as hazards and often with an eye toward how to mitigate or prevent future loss and damage. And this often involves um, trying to minimize or prevent some of the landscape changes that could otherwise be occurring. And these human actions that are, of course, are very adaptive and, and highly helpful of, can alter the building block longer term change in a way that ends up often being maladaptive on the time scale of decades or longer. So I think this meeting presents an opportunity for the hazard and planning community to hopefully gain some of the longer term perspective and time for the um, landscape and ecosystem evolution modelers to gain a greater understanding of how the myriad ways that human dynamics are coupled with physical and ecological dynamics in long term landscape change. So let's mingle and talk and listen to each other and I look forward to seeing what it's about. That, I'll bring it over to Greg to get us started. <laughs> 